Richard Carapaz from Ecuador wins the hardest ever, hardest ever course they've used in a men's road race ever in the Olympics. What a ride. Let's look at the bikes, let's look at the tech, let's look at the nutrition. A few days ago on Instagram, I predicted, I will ask the question, will this be the winning bike? Now, I saw this bike and I thought, well, anyone who's on this bike is going to have a massive advantage on a long, hard road race they just will um disc brakes weren't very common of the riders who had a choice every rider who had a choice in the olympics chose rim brakes 6.8 kilo bikes is what the rim brake riders used disc brake bikes aren't as light there is no 6.8 kilo disc brake bike currently being ridden by a world tour rider kenny ellison is maybe getting close to a 7.1 kilo monda that's just the fact. Lighter is better when it comes to watts per kilo. The less mass you carry up a hill and you've got the power, your watts per kilo goes up. Carapaz, Tadej, Richie Port, uh, Garen Thomas even, they were my favourites for the Olympics. They were my favourites. Tadej, I knew he's just, obviously he's got the, the form right now, but he's got that rim brake bike. And in a 240k hilly stage, rim brake grams are going to help they're just going to give you that marginal gain carapaz he's a street fighter he's just got so much tenacity he's not afraid to lose when you're not afraid to lose you got your best chance of winning so many riders yesterday were afraid to lose they didn't want to put it all on the line Tadej again not afraid to lose put it on the line Tadej kickstarted the race yesterday he really animated it with that early attack and then Carapaz went, and then Woods went, but Woods didn't seem to pull through, did he? He sort of sat on, saving himself, and then Wout Van Aert doing a massive chase effort, incredible ride for a 78 kilo heavyweight uh, cyclist. But again, he was on a bike that was just shit, man, just a shitty Cervelo R5 disc brake bike, just too heavy for someone of his ability. You know, if you're a good rider, you need a good bike. And look at Tadej, just on the best bike he could get. 6.8 kilos in the money, some 1,210 gram tubular wheels. You got these Cervelo riders. Cervelo used to make, you know, sell good bikes. They're just Chinese carbon disc brake bikes. Now they're just, they're just yeah, heavy as junk, in my opinion. <laughs> All the brands specialize, Trek. They're just selling Chinese made carbon, which is fine, but the price is outrageous and the weight is also outrageous. Carapaz, imagine the feeling. The stands were packed with spectators. Cycling seems to be the only sport at the Olympics this year where they're allowing spectators. I don't understand that. I mean, it's good. It's great for the riders. But all the other sports, tennis, etc., there's no spectators. How does that even work? What a contradiction. So it looks like uh, Wout is using uh, some C40 Shimano wheels. I could be wrong on that. But they're about 1,500 grams once you add the rotors on there. Whereas you got like Tadej and Carapaz, where the disc brakes, surf the disc brakes, they're riding disc brakes, but they're called rim brakes. The rims are actually a big disc. So you got 1100 gram or 1210 gram tubular versus a 1500 gram tubular disc. It's a no brainer, which is going to be faster. You also hear Garen Thomas had some bad luck again, having a bit of a crash. It's not his month at all. Otherwise, he also could be a factor there for the win. Has a great one-day capacity, as is a stage race capacity. Aggressive-looking bike set up. 6.8 kilo bike, ready for the win. I wouldn't be surprised me if these Pinarello bikes um, and the and the Tadej's Colnago had some weights added to them to make sure they were 6.8, not versus 6.5s. I, I do suspect strongly that these winning bikes had had weights added to them in the form of lead in the seat tube area there. I don't think that these bikes are 6.8 kilos. Um, you know, I would say they've had weights added to them because that spec is quite light. And myself, someone who owns 35 high-end bikes, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sus I highly suspect weights were added to these bikes to make 6.8 kilo. Um, but with the disc brake bikes, yeah, 7.3, 7.1 maybe for Kenny Ellison, etc. But otherwise, yeah, these bikes are super, super heavy. But yeah, amazing. So nutrition, uh, carapaz just sugar 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 white rice fruit sugar a bit of bread a bit of jam in the race there but water they'll pin every two hours just you know pin it as they ride their bike <laughs> that's how crazy it is but yeah just this is a day where 
if you didn't have a gel, if you didn't have your sugar, just one sh- you know, 20 gram stack of sugar in that gel could be the difference between hanging on winning and getting dropped. All right? So you can imagine there how good, um, you know, how good Ecuador fans are going to feel with Carapaz just winning on his rim brake bike, you know, great rider in, in just terms of his style of riding. He, he brings a lot of passion to it. You know, he doesn't just sit in the wheels and follow. He uses the marginal gains with his carb intake and his rim brake bike, and he just gives it, man. He street fights, you know. He's a punchy rider. I predicted he would could win. He's, he's like Valverde, you know, just just willing to give it everything, not afraid to lose, you know. And Tadej as well. These riders are not afraid to sit in the wheels, even... Wout Van Aert did an amazing ride yesterday, incredible effort, but it's really sad to see he was handicapped his freakish ability. I mean, they all these guys are freaks, but Wout Van Aert, a bit more freakish ability, and he's on a shitty disc brake bike with rubbing. Can you imagine the power he puts out, being 78 kilos, chasing these 60, 58 kilo whippets? The power he would put out through that Cervelo to the rotors just be rubbing, ting, 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 just flexing all that gyro torsional wastage in the wheels there. Just, you know, and even in the sprint, he almost lost to uh, Tadej. Tadej went a little bit wide. So again, his bike's so heavy. It's like he's literally on a CX bike. Literally, he's riding a CX bike with road tires. That's just not fair. I think all the riders should be on rim or they should all be on disc. Like, Let's make it fair. Let's put all the riders on disc brakes if that's what the industry's trying to push, you know. But again, that sucks as well. Give the riders the choice. And when you give the riders the choice, 100%, as we've seen in the Olympics, as we've seen in the Tour de France, as we've seen in the World Champs, when it matters, when the win matters, when the win absolutely matters, when you want gold between your teeth, podium girls in your bed, you're going to pick rim brakes, all right? You're going to pick rim brakes. And people who deny that, just got scammed by Specialized, etc., and paid, you know, 10 grand or whatever for a disc bike that was made in China, and it's heavier than the bike from 10 years ago, and it's got integrated cables that the mechanics roll their eyes at, and to adjust the headset, it costs 200 bucks. It's just a joke, man. Bikes are becoming a joke. Rim brakes is the best for road. Disc for dirt, rim for road. You heard it here first. You won't hear it here ever again. Until tomorrow, thanks for watching.